Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. So one thing I wanted to mention was of course you can use this little pad thing, but you can also get up to the fountain with a different way, so... Okay. So I could have done it right, you can actually just triple jump up there. So... Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. Okay. Whatever, fuck it. But you can do that, I've seen people do it before. Another thing that I, uh, found was this little cheat code, um, that I just think is really cool. You can press the minus button on your controller, and you turn into a skeleton when you do it. So, it's pretty cool. And, um, I will put the, that little gecko code in the description if you too would like to use it. So... One thing that is here right now in the galaxy we were playing, the space jump, there is a speedy comet that we need to do right now. So you don't always necessarily have to beat all of the levels in the galaxy for the comet to appear. Sometimes they just kind of appear at random and stuff. And you can always move this one too if you don't feel like playing it. So just um, pretty much the same as Good Egg, um, you get four minutes to do it. Um, so okay, I'm just gonna ignore all these little treasures and stuff they put in the way. Sort of just distract us, you know. Gone is the calm music, you know, so now, now it's, um, it's go time in a way. So right, it's five starships in. Come back here. It's the starship to here's three. And then here's four and here's five. Also one thing that I mentioned is you can just uh, change Mario back at will to if you want. Um you press the game button again is um sort of little toggle thing you can do. And also, supposedly, um, I've heard that that rocket ship in the game is supposed to be Olimar from Pikmin's rocket ship. But I've never even played Pikmin. I didn't even know who Olimar was for when I was younger. I only found out about him through fucking Smash Bros. Brawl. Which is funny. Um, so yeah, but this level is pretty much nearly exactly the same. Um, I actually heard something about, and there's even a video on it, I don't know if, I can't find a download or anything, maybe the guy who, uh, made the, restored the mod and everything, just might not want to make a download of it, um, but the, originally there was going to be a, uh, cosmic clone race in this, uh, level instead of a, um, Instead of what we have now, which is the speed run. So, we're in my section. Uh, just make sure you follow the platforms and everything. This drone's gonna sort of guide you in a way. Last one is this way. You can actually also change it during the cutscene, which I think is funny. Somehow they let you do that. Okay, I almost fell off there. But, um, I don't know why. Um, sometimes if speed run comments and then have perfectly enough time but sometimes with them you can also change it during the cutscene cut a little bit too sometimes they just um, don't actually end up um, letting you 
<laughs> That's funny, you just see his hat and his hair and everything. Um, I kind of forget what I was talking about anyways. But I, I think I was saying, just this weird that um, sometimes the timer doesn't stop when you spawn the star. I mean, that would be only annoying, I guess, if you had like two seconds left. But okay, we're gonna do this galaxy real quick. The hurry scurry galaxy. Shrinking satellites. There's also a very small galaxy. Only two planets right there. I don't even know if you call them planets, they're just so small. Alright, so this toad will say... The floor falls when you step on it, be careful! So yeah, these platforms, they shrink. That's the name, Shrinking Satellites. So, okay, this toad will say... I tried walking along the path, but it started disappearing with every step I took! It's dangerous, I tell ya! So, right, now basically... Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Sometimes that happens. Uh, yeah, basically, what you have to do is just um, collect all these musical notes, and then you'll get the star. So some people, they um, sometimes want to make every platform disappear, but I think it's just a little pointless. You don't really get anything, you know, for it. And there we go, that's... level finished. So no skeletons up here. And there we go, get complete, 10 coins, 17 star bits for grand total, 751. I don't remember how many we need for the next, um, Luma thing. Maybe it's 600, maybe 800, I don't really remember. Anyways, um, back to the space junks to get the one remaining star we need. Alright, Terran Tox's Tangled Web. So yeah, we've already played this mission, so we can skip the cutscene. That's something nice if you've already played this mission, and if you get a secret star or something, yeah, you can see that planet in the background. Um, if you get a secret star or whatever, um, then essentially you can just uh, go back and it lets you skip cutscenes. You don't have to see the intro movie of this is Royal Star Wars and everything. It's just sort of goofy, I guess. Um, or spiders. Yeah. It's always cool to look at this, um, this space spiral galaxy thing. I've always been interested in space. I've always wanted to go to space too. I guess this is the next best thing. Next best thing we can do of going to space is just playing this freaking game. And that's pretty much it. So, right, there we go. There's our opening. So, this time we're actually going to go inside of the planets and we to find our launch star so we can continue. Hello, Mr. Goomba. Surprise, motherfucker. Okay, that's the exit. Alright, okay, there's some flowers with some star bits in it. I don't really know what these things do. They do anything. Uh, I thought they might give you star bits. Maybe if I, I'll see if I can. 
can shoot one if it'll do anything. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I guess I just wasted a star, but yay. So. Alright, here's our launch star. The launch stars are so powerful that you can actually break out of them. Break out of the glass with them. anymore. Oh there, look at that. It definitely doesn't look like a butthole. Definitely not. Totally not being sarcastic at all. I launched to Toad in the stratosphere. Say like, fuck you Toad, nobody likes you. Six up for right here. I usually like to give that to for her bosses. We're just about to fight one. Yeah, there's a lot of spiders around here for some reason. I wonder who the boss is gonna be. Definitely not a spider. We're going penetrating a butthole. That's what we're doing. Alright, we'll break this spider out of his nest. Alright, if we couldn't already do stuff with butts, then basically. What we're supposed to do with this guy is I think we have to hit his, his, his butt, which is his weak point. It'll knock him over, essentially. And then we have to hit the red weak points. I remember when my brother was younger, he saw the guy's red weak points and he goes, They look like Cheerios! For some reason, he said that. I guess somebody. Would I guess he didn't eat that day. Okay, now all his weak points start shooting green acid at us. He's definitely not weird at all. You can break these two coins. And also, okay, here's coins over there. Let's get that. Come on. Okay, you can actually. Uh, hit those weak points if you want, uh, just to sort of stun him. But the one on his butt is actually the one that'll um, do something. 
Uh, he also gets a faster recovery time as well. Um, I don't know how many seconds it is, but when he starts um, twitching a little more, then he's going to recover. Okay, we missed that. Okay, now he flips himself over again. But luckily we read his weak point, so... Okay. Alright, here we go. Now he's defeated. He's a little bit... Uh, not really a hard boss, but he's a bit of an annoying boss. I'm just glad that uh, they didn't make him the Comet. Because you can't really beat him in a uh, speedy fashion, really. Or... Um, or a, uh, maybe, you probably could do a daredevil run of him, but I mean, it's just, no, um, wouldn't come easily, though. I guess. Since I, I got hit a couple times by him. Okay, I didn't mean to screenshot that. I didn't even know I could. Okay, I did not mean to press that. I sometimes I'm trying to press the volume button, but I end up actually pressing the other one. So, alright. Hungry Luma appears. Alright, so we'll see if we have enough to feed this guy. Hey, you, you got any taste of service? Feed me a bunch of service. Okay. Oh, he only needs 400. Okay, I thought they would at least need more, because I mean, I didn't think it was going to be the same amount. That's it, I'm stuck. Here we go, Transform! The Sling Pod Galaxy has appeared, otherwise known as probably the most boring one in the game. Probably my most uh, least favorite, too. But I can at least use save states this time, so it won't be too bad. But, um, this is actually a galaxy that I recommend you. You can get a lot of star bits in. I, this is probably the only one in the game that I was actually able to reach 999 in. Um, Mainly, there's, there's, there's just so damn many servers. Like, we just landed now, and we already have nearly 20. So, okay. Right. He already died. It's just so stupidly precise and everything. I hate it so much. But um, you, might, you probably won't game over in this uh, level, just because of the like, goofy amount of only star bits there. Alright, and then the next one. See, it's freaking so stupid. It's like one mess up and you die. It's Really, really annoying. See how much fun we're having? So, I think I'm gonna cut and then I'm gonna try to. We're on the second one, I'm gonna try to get to where I need to go. Alright, here's the next one. I made a save state, um, just because I need to, because this level is very annoying. Okay, there we go. Okay. Glad I made a save state, so, okay, load that up there. This, this is probably literally my least favorite level in the game. What? Now I got it too far? Okay. 
Makes no sense whatsoever. Save state here. It's because this one is really precise, to be honest. Okay, now here we go. At least we get a little break with um. Pole stars. This part is probably the only easy part of the level. A lot of star bits over here. All clear ones for some weird reason. I don't know why. To be honest, this galaxy should just be called like the Gimmick Galaxy. I think that's a better name for it, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna end up leaving with like 300 star bits or something. <laughs> I don't think I'll make a save state because I'm pretty sure that they give you a checkpoint here. I'm actually break um, trying to. Whatever. I guess you can't. But I, I thought you could break um, little spike balls with, um, okay, we're gonna make one here, shit, I almost dropped my controller, we're gonna make one here, but I, I thought you could break spike balls with star bits, guess maybe you can't, Oh, there's fire bars, and that's really annoying. Because of that! But I guess you jump back right onto it. No? Shit. How, how, how am I supposed to do that part? Is it overshooting it, undershooting it? What is, what is the problem? Okay, that didn't even make any sense. I literally did it that same way last time. I don't even want to bother cutting because I just want to show the whole level. Okay, good. Good. What? Last time it literally let me jump right to it. That's stupid. It's fucking stupid. Come on. I thought I wasn't going to make it there. Okay, we made it this time. Since the firebirds are so annoying, I'm going to make another save state. It's because they're not generous to tell me. This is where you got a checkpoint. I mean, they were able to do it 
in freaking Galaxy 2. I mean, I don't know why they couldn't do in this game. I do not know why they couldn't. so stupidly close. I don't even know how I did it wrong, but we're so close to the end of the level. You look my safe state here. Hey, that's stupid. I don't know why the fire ended up blocking me from going where I wanted to go. Okay, that works, I guess. At least I failed, but they were nice enough, so they were going to be nice to me about it. Okay, we're definitely going to make a save state here again, it's because we have to make it super precise, and if I don't, then I die. Okay, finally. I hate that stupid level. Hate it. Glad we got that done. It, it probably it took me like 900 tries. Probably, and I don't even think I'm joking, but it, it took me probably like 150 tries as a kid to do it. I literally ended up dying so many times that I was able to reach 999 star bits. But I'm glad we're done with that. It's probably my least favorite mission in the entire game, but yes, we're gonna fucking save. Not even exaggerating what I'm saying. That is my least favorite mission in the whole game. But I want to get this uh, one up for this way. I tried that again, but it Want to go to the Sling Pod Galaxy? Fuck no, I'd rather drink acid. Alright, next one. The Battle Rock. This is actually one of my favorite galaxies in the game, so at least we're going from a galaxy I hate to a galaxy I actually like. Also, um, I remember somebody had mentioned, um, I don't know why people do this, they don't just put it in the comments. Like, sometimes somebody will just message me on Instagram or message me on Discord and be all, good video, and I'm, which one are you even talking about? I have over 600 videos. <laughs> I have almost as many videos as I do subscribers, which is actually kind of sad, because I know some people... Would they have like 200 videos and like a million subscribers, but whatever. I guess the YouTube algorithm doesn't like me or something. But uh, we're gonna need to find some star chips, some blue star chips. I guess this leaves some coins, but doesn't matter. And I think there might be a star chip in this box. No, there's not. Here. These guys, I don't think you can kill with them. Um, 
star bits. Let me see. Oh, you can actually. So I guess that's um I didn't think you could. So I guess that's one of the enemies that you can shoot with the star bits, and then you'll um you'll lose one, but you'll get three back. I guess like the blue guys. I don't even know what they were, but one of my friends used to call them like bitey boys or something. I don't even know. Yes, I know how to spin, thank you. It's funny how they do that sometimes, and it's usually obvious what they have to do in the game is all, this is what you do. But I, I guess this game was made for kids. It was rated E, I guess. I tend to expect some, mostly kids to play it. But I guess when games are rated M, they're not going to help you at all. But you know it's on me. Flip over this, I think. Yes, we can. And this is kind of cool. It all make star bits come out of here instead of. Um, instead of um, cannonballs. We didn't have to back up over there, I just don't like it. Another thing we can back up over. And now what we have to do is um, we have to find Pull it bill to guide uh, to the, the, the star's cage. Okay, no, I didn't want it to break the coins. Whatever. So, some star bits we're gonna have it get, but um, we don't need the star bits, we gotta definitely get them out. So, for the, yeah, we can also change it during the star grabbing cutscene, which it'll look odd. Yeah. Two stars, 754 star bits, just for save. I think the secret star is this mission. There's a secret star. There's actually, this is one of the few galaxies with two secret stars. I think there's, I think there's only two galaxies total with two secret stars. This one, and then um, one in the fourth dome. I think there's seven domes altogether. Yeah, there, well, there's eight, I guess. But one of them only has, it only lets you do two missions. It doesn't even actually have galaxies. It's just um, one of them just lets you replay the first mission. And then the mission to get the red star I was telling you guys about earlier. So, for bombs, you just um, spin and throw. It's kind of. Or spin to throw, I mean, that's sort of all you have to do, really. And, um. I want to get some star bits for it now. 
Because there's, there's some under there, but some uh, ways. how many it is. Maybe it's 30. But... Yeah, it gives that multicolored planet. That red, blue, yellow, green. Um, one that my cursor was just on. That is um, the planet where the secret star option resides. Okay, there's even some more under here, so definitely want to get those. Alright, so now that we've got all the stuff, but yeah, the thing that's sort of a little bit of a way about that is um, you try to long jump towards one and it just takes you to the one the next one with the gravity. Um, silly, I guess. Hell. So, I'm gonna see how many this guy needs. Hey, you get good and touch the garbage feed me much all along. Yeah, he needs 30, so. Um, if you don't have as many, then you can. Um, I think there's a way to get, like, an invincibility star or something to. Um, end up breaking the chain chops. This is the equivalent of the Galaxy 2's box breaking thing. There's a green pipe over there if you want to just return. This is Ammo Depot, not a garbage dump. What do people think? They can just throw their trash here and it'll magically disappear. Hey, we have plenty of bombs. Maybe you could use them to blow up all this trash. Gee, thanks. Alright, so we get 30 seconds to do this. And yeah, some people might think it's hard, but actually... Basically, just what you really need to do is just um, throw them near the um, gold circles, essentially. And you can pretty much um, blow up all the trash in the surrounding areas. So yeah, pretty easy. Some people said this is a hard star, but it's not. Who knew that bombs work so well as an industrial strength cleaner? Thanks, I owe you big. Oh, I know. Take this. I just found it lying around. Maybe it will help. Thanks, you really helped me out there. Alright, that's how that star taken care of. Pretty easy secret star. Then again, I still don't know why some people won't call it a hard one. Oh. Yeah. Hit the star, but it looks garbage dump. Here's the star, but counts as 760, so we'll save. Yeah. Alright, so we can go back to this level. So I don't really need to worry about the star bits at this point. So I would cut, but I mean, I just don't have to worry about the star bit breaking. So it's just a straightforward sort of destroy this thing. that um, Luma get out, so basically what you need to do is you can uh, blow up all these chain chomps manually with bombs, but um, you don't have to, you can actually just um, break this one and you can get yourself, oh, at least break one, but you can get yourself the 
invincibility power up. Breaking all that way. Sure, it's the same thing, but it's kind of funny. Um, I think the um, invincibility theme in this game is the same one as the wing cap theme in Super Mario 64. Okay, now I don't want to blow up. Thank you. And I didn't even get that one, but fuck it, whatever. It didn't even matter that much. Um, we get a decent amount of starbits as it is anyway. So we just want to blow up uh, this thing of prisoning the Luma right here. Whoa, that was scary as my way of thank thanking, yeah, thanking you for the help. I'll make a shortcut for you. Transform. So it's going to be a star for us. So we can we can grab some coins. Uh, and then we can use a launch star right here. I think there's a little box under here, actually, we can get ourselves extra life. Yeah, that's, I think that's how you get the life. Never forget about the extra life, I don't need it. Um. But yeah, you can. Uh, okay, thank you. Very funny. You've made your points, Mr. Spiky Bomb. Um, but you can actually break them with um, your star bits. So I don't know why it wasn't letting me do it in that one level. It's kind of weird. Starbits around there. Get nine starbits out of that box. Oh, I think there might be coins in here. Yeah, you get nine coins out of there. So, we can make our way on top of Patrick's Rock. This is what it looks like. I guess they must be fans of SpongeBob because I mean, even Galaxy 2 and um, freaking the Yoshi Star Galaxy, they even put um, Mr. Krebs' first dime at one point, or at least it looks that way. Take ourselves a bomb, this time they walk, but we can just spin them. And, um. <coughs> break that way. So now we can go into another room. Break the loom out. 
And I guess we have to aim for the launch star. Okay, I didn't want to get out of the cannon. For us, which we will gladly take. <coughs> Another cannon for us. We get the stir that way, so okay, make sure this is out of the way. There we go, that's our star. Service for grand total 851. Yes, we'll save. Yeah. Alright, back to the Battle Rock Galaxy again. Top Maniac and the Tupman Tribe. enemies are returning from Galaxy 2 again. Yes. Alright, Molly's are back from Galaxy 2, and what you have to do is, um, there's actually a couple ways of killing them. You can ground pound and then jump on them. Or you can uh, ground pounds and then spin them, so whatever way you want to do. Okay, I want to shoot that guy. Okay, whatever. Wasted almost all my starbitch trying that. Yeah, but see, you can, you can jump on him too, if you want. And, okay, I guess that, um, I thought you were supposed to, um, grab this, uh, question point to progress, because sometimes you have to do that. And I guess not. Spikes, they try to get in our way. Alright, so basically, you just um, essentially need to spin that uh, guy into the electricity to um, get rid of the force field. And we can grab ourselves that. Let's see what this guy says. Thank you, hurry on ahead. We all sound like Dale Gribble. I just think it's funny giving them southern accents. Thank you, oh sweet freedom, I'll show you a shortcut as you roar, transform. Alright, more boxes for us. So for some reason with the moles, if you get too close to them, uh, they end up going away, so I don't know why they do that. I guess just to annoy you. It's like a thing that Quiet Riot song. I hope it annoys you! There's like a, a middle song. Get this. 
for us in case we want them. Still these enemies are pretty useless, the Octumbas. Because I mean they don't even actually shoot anything at you as if how they do in Galaxy 2. I don't know why they're even in the game now. It's because they're so stupid. Don't want to let that have us go down. Because um, that's where the gravity switches. safe to walk on the yellow ones, but the red ones, um, they will crush you, so be careful with that. Alright, now over here, we won't get hit by these, um, waves of his electricity. So we can safely um, grab our star bits. This is pretty cool, it's almost like we're launching for battle. Initiate battle sequence. So we need to um, hit the green ones and the red ones. Uh, the gravity switches on us. Go to the Luma shop if we so please, but we actually have all six lives, so we don't actually have to worry about anything. And here's the boss, the top man. Basically, what you have to do is just jump on his head, and then um, he's just basically a glorified red top, essentially. Because um, you just jump on his head. And then you can just um, launch him into the fields of electricity. That's all you have to do for him. Yeah, just they launch me into the electricity, but other than that, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Okay, I thought I got him. Okay, there we go. He's dead now. That's our star. We'll see if the comet spawns. Um, I don't know if it will. If not, I'll just use the mover guy to move it. Yes, we'll save. And alright, yes we got the first Daredevil comet. So far we've just um, played two speed runs and a um, cosmic clone. So now with Daredevils just like Galaxy 2, you only get one life, so if you get hit once it's all over. But um, we just have to fight the boss on this one, and that's all we have to do. Yes. Yes. 
Alright, so just essentially just do what we did last time. And I mean, by that I mean I'm not uh, end up getting hit by the top, the red top man, I mean. I say do what we did last time. Okay, I want to launch these guys into the electric field. Basically, just to get rid of them. There we go, now we have our star, so yeah, pretty easy. Daredevil mission, but they will get harder as we go on, I guess. So, we won't have time to do the whole Bowser mission, uh, but since we have it unlocked, I'm just gonna go for it. And, um, I'll just, uh, end up making a save state when we get to a, a certain point in the level, and then I'll finish it off next time, but I just, I just don't want to end the episode off with three and a half minutes left, so... I'm never fighting off against big old Bowsy Boy himself. Alright, the Fiery Stronghold. So Bowser is a bit different in um, Galaxy 1 than he is in Galaxy 2. In Galaxy 2, he does the whole meteor thing. And I actually think he's easier in that game than this one. Um, this one, you have to basically get him to jump on these... Um, fire circle things, planets, um, you'll see what I mean next time, um, when I get to it, but, yeah, you'll see what I mean, okay, already dead, that starts off as a good one, it's a good note, but we have, I mean, 15 lives total right now, we're about to get another one, so, they can be pretty generous with lives sometimes. I always like the um, Bowser music. Um, it's also, I think it's a remix of Bowser in the Sky from Mario 64. Devs must really have had a heart on for Mario 64, because I mean, I don't even know why. They're acting like it was the best thing since sliced bread. Yes, I get it. It was first 3D Mario game, and it sort of almost set the standard for um, 3D games in the future, but I mean, so to be for real, I mean, Mario Sunshine was out already. And so was Gal and so was Mario 64 DS. So I mean, it's not as if it was the best 3D game. And I, I I've played 64. I don't even think it's that good. But maybe that's just because I, I wasn't around at the time and everything. It was like you can go in 12 directions or eight directions or however many fucking directions they said you could. I don't even remember. But um, I guess it was just crazy because they were saying that. And, other games, like I don't fucking even know, Bubsy 3D or some shit. It was out back then. I guess they just weren't as good 3D games, and some people played them like, This game fucking sucks! You know. Alright, and already we're about to fight off against Bowser. This level is pretty short. Be nice enough to give us a 6 up shroom. You finally made it! Mario didn't say a word. Just in time for me to stomp you into space bits. So it's sort of the same as in Galaxy uh, 2 where he'll send out shockwaves and. I just want to stand on that, and I just wanted to show what I meant. Um, and then he'll turn and stop, and then you'll hit him and he'll spin, and um, that's kind of it. And you just do that a couple times, and then he's done. So, 
All right, so we'll make ourselves a safe state here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Super Mario Galaxy, and I will see you guys next time.